So I'm talking all the time about how much I love ClickUp and all the cool things it can do and how to set th different things up and how to establish yourself as a solopreneur using it productively. However, I've never talked about which plan you should actually purchase because there are a few options. And I guess in my mind, I always thought, you know, I get Starbucks like almost every day, sometimes twice, possibly thrice a day, if I'm being totally honest, and it's expensive. So click up at even the beginner, like unlimited plan at $5 a month just seems so cheap in comparison, right? You just pay for it once. Um, you know, my vanilla latte that I get from Starbucks isn't even, that wouldn't even cover it, right? Like it would just be kind of like a deposit, like a down payment on the Starbucks latte I would get. But as a solopreneur, let's go through the different plans and which one I recommend. And I do have the professional one. However, that was gifted to me. If I had to pay for it myself, I don't know if I would go all the way to professional. So let's go inside, look at the different features that you get and the ones that honestly, I think are just there for teams and collaboration. And as a solopreneur, you probably don't even want or care about. Oh, let's go ahead and look at the pricing first of all. So so this has basically everything in here. We're just gonna say enterprise is out of scope because enterprise really has things like white labeling, which really, I mean, who are you trying to fool that you like don't really have ClickUp as your back end tool inside of your company? And also single sign on in HIPAA. Like who really cares about that? First of all, if you don't even know what HIPAA is, it just means the Health Privacy Act. And if you are not familiar with that and you just learned what that word means, you definitely do not need that feature. And single sign on, yeah. Sure, it would be nice to have single sign-on if you are, again, a major company and you want to control who has access to what using their company email. But again, as a solopreneur, that's just silly. So we're just gonna forget about enterprise and all of their features, and we're just gonna look at all the, the others. Now, when you look at this, this just ha is a summary of you for you of what the features that they would like to point out to you, but they don't know who you are. I know you. I know that you and I are solopreneurs. So you're gonna click this complete featured list over here and it's gonna open up a whole new set of data for you. Now, spaces, lists, folders, we talked about this before. I have one space because I am one person. And the only reason I have multiple spaces is if you are going to limit the availability are the permissions that someone can see within spaces, like maybe you have a personal one, then you have a business one, maybe you have a, a side hustle one, or maybe another one that you share with your family or something like that. And again, you still have five spaces in here, but I just use one as a team of one. Um, so yeah, that might be a reason to upgrade if you need more than five. And then the number of lists per space, I have, I went back and I counted, I do actually have more than a hundred lists for some things because I just have lots of ideas, especially story ideas. Uh, so, you know, maybe, however, um, you know, again, this is a per space. So if you want, you can put more lists, you have five spaces, so you could still have 500 lists total, you just have to make another space for them. Um, folders per space, I for sure don't even come anywhere near the 400. Um, and also, it's 400 across the board. That is like the click up limitation. And don't worry, we'll go through this a lot faster as we keep going through. Um, so all of that together still says to me, hey, you know what, I could probably still get away with free. Totally fine. Um, so if we jump down here to essentials for file storage, you know what you could do? So file storage, 100 megabytes, that's not actually a lot of space. However, if you're planning to use this, like Evernote, we're just gonna put a ton of attachments in there, for sure, yeah, you're gonna run out of space. What I do instead is I just link to somewhere on my Google Drive, which is my main storage unit anyway, and much easier for me to find things. And then sometimes if I really need to, I'll put stuff in Amazon S3, but again, I, do not exceed or come anywhere near the 100 megabyte limit because I link to files that are on Google Drive versus adding them in here. So again, I think if you are just a team of one, you could easily do that as well. Um, guests, uh, this is the only thing that might be a little weird is if you have other people using the system. Now, as a solopreneur, you probably don't. I have different tasks that I share with other people, but I have automations that send them a note about the task, like via email 
email from within ClickUp. I don't actually need to add them into ClickUp because I don't need to manage anybody else. So for sure, I, I have zero need for anything beyond. So I'm still good at free. Um, custom fields. Custom fields, again, I don't, I think I have maybe two custom fields total. So I know some people freak out, like they're like, oh, I can only have a hundred custom fields. Well, can you even think of a hundred custom fields that you really need to create? I doubt it if you're a solopreneur. So I would skip that as well. You can make templates, everything is fine. Now for views, the only thing that might make a difference inside of views is the widgets that you get inside of your dashboard. But again, I don't think it's a big deal. I get by just fine with all of the features inside of free, and I don't really need the features that are in any of the other paid plans either. So again, it's really great that this is so wonderful that there are so many cool things inside the free plan that you really don't need to upgrade at all. So it's not one of those, I feel, the reason I also like ClickUp too is because they're not trying to do a bait and switch where they're like, oh, we're gonna give you basically nothing in, or anything useful inside the free version. They've given you a ton of things. Um, Whiteboards, I still, again, if it's just you by yourself, I don't know that you need that many whiteboards. I honestly find it easier and faster to just write stuff on a piece of paper, uh, to be honest. And then the other thing you're missing out is on forms. Now, anytime I need to send out a form, I actually use type form or I use a Google form, or I use another tool like HoneyBook to send stuff to individual clients. You can send it from within ClickUp, However, uh, to, with a typical workflow, because it works so well within HoneyBook, I don't really see, personally for me, a need to actually put it into ClickUp. Now, you might feel different if you only have a couple forms that you need to send, but again, Google Forms is free, it works just as great. Um, and then over here for customization, custom task IDs. Again, there's really no reason when it's just you that you need to make a custom task ID for yourself. Uh, the stuff in the system works just fine. Now, automations, depending on how many notes that you have to send to people that you uh, work with to send out an automated message, that's really what I use automations for. The only reason I need to do that is when I work with other people and I very rarely collaborate with anybody on a monthly basis except for Book Club with Courtney and um, some book club stuff with Molly. And for the most part, you know, you could send yourself a notification that says, hey, don't forget to tell Molly or whatever this. And that's for me just on a monthly basis. So the 100 automations per month is more than enough. Um, future recurring tasks on calendar. I actually still keep just everything inside Google Calendar, even though I could put it in ClickUp, it's just easier to create it over there uh, than it is somewhere else. Custom cat again, this is really just more of a dashboard thing. If you need to roll up numbers or you're trying to use ClickUp as a customer dashboard, that could be something. Uh, but otherwise, I really don't need it. And we can just totally skip, skip collaboration because we're a team of one. We don't need to collaborate with ourselves to log in as multiple personalities. Same thing with reporting. Uh, now, the only feature that you might miss are goals. Uh, so goals are something that I very much liked using as a feature in ClickUp. However, I could totally live without them. And then timesheets, you know, I track all of my time through a tracker, uh, but so you do miss the time tracking aspect of that as well as uh, the integration with Google Drive. But again, I just stick a link in there and it works good enough for me. Security doesn't really matter, not that important. Support, 24 seven support that you get online, that seems good enough to me. I have never had something that complicated in ClickUp that I can't use it. So again, I still think 100% the free will work just fine for you, uh, unless you have any exceptions to those rules. But uh, let me know if you disagree or there's something really important that you need and some of the other features. I would love to know if I missed something. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I hope everyone's having a great and fabulous day. And don't forget, I have a ClickUp starter uh, tutorial for solopreneurs, and I will leave a link to that below. And I will talk to everyone later. Bye.